Hello, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program, where in this episode we will achieve orbit of our giant wall. I will sit here for hours if it means I have to do this. Don't worry, you won't see me sitting here for hours, but we will achieve orbit of our giant space wall of no purpose. So, let's get into it. There is there is a slight possibility that it will break the game this time. Hope Maybe it won't blow up on launch pad though, well, we'll see. I made some minor adjustments to the ship we previously had from the last episode. Oh no! Too bad you didn't see those minor adjustments. It was a cataclysm that happened on the launch pad. But we will revert flight. If it wants to recognize it. To launch. Okay, shift, space, and T. All at the same time. Well, those didn't. <laughs> well, the, why is that stage two? That doesn't make any sense. Revert. I, I'm gonna have to go back to assembly. Change that around. I'm sorry. For some reason, those aren't top priority. Let's drag those down. Here, that is top priority. What is this two? Six. There should be six there. So. I'm gonna have to push this all up so they all fire when they all decouple. There we go. That's a little bit nicer. There we go. Staging should be nice and pretty now. Well, at least while we're here, I can show you the minor adjustments I've made. I added some more rockets at the bottom. I know the takeoff will be quite a bit slower now, but it'll give us that extra height that we need for this stage to get us very close to orbit. And then this stage just to finalize. I also put some solar panels and electricity, so batteries, onto this onto the wall part, so if I need to do any maneuvering and have the power. Oh, yeah. Also put a docking port on both ends of the main tower. So, just in case I want to launch some more walls up, I can connect the walls together. Because why not? And we will launch. Space bar. Yeah! Ever so slowly creeping up into the sky. Oh my good golly goodness. Yeah, this one is not gonna end. And rainbows and sunshine. Look at that wing just constantly trying to adjust. I'm surprised my frames aren't rock bottoming right now. Again, it is only an extra stage and a couple extra boards. So I don't overheat and just explode for random reasons in the sky. I'm not exactly going for efficiency with this craft. I'm surprised how little rockets I needed to actually get this huge wall up. Because the missions I took to do not things. I had relatively large rockets that I needed to take just to get the thing to the other planet. So I was anticipating on there being way more rockets here to get a giant steel wall into orbit. But it's relatively small compared to what I was expecting. stage is nearing its end, 
so that means the rest will be practically the same as it was in the previous video, and that was relatively stable. So, we're reaching our little critical point too with the clouds, which is where it usually spins out. Imagine being in a passenger jet, you know, just flying above the clouds. You're going to your vacation home, or you're going on vacation with the family. And usually, you're in your plane above the clouds, nicely cruising. And you just see this in the horizon, just going up into space. I mean, I wouldn't know what to think if I were in a plane, looked out the window, and just saw this rising above the clouds. There might be a few bricks in my pants if I saw that. I would think some sort of cataclysm has happened. And uh, I would be wondering why some government would need to launch a wall into space. But for whatever reason they have, it'd have to be a good reason. Maybe they want to block out the sun for a very small part of somewhere even though that wouldn't really work, because the wall would need to be a lot bigger than that. Okay. I have to adjust now. Give it a little tilt. This way of doing things works. until the next stage kicks in. So I'm way too afraid to point this one at the ground, especially when I'm not in space yet. Or at least technically by the numbers. Let's just look at our orbital map. Yes. That is looking much better. Only 100,000 meters up. That's all you need for an orbit, 100,000. We might actually be able to achieve it on our first try. I do anticipate on this video being quite a bit shorter than the previous, but... Maybe not that short, damn. In this video, I am recording my sound in Audacity, so I can take out whenever my fans on my computer kick in, as I noticed that in last episode. So I will cut some of the random annoying noises out on the sound, since I'm recording the sound with Audacity this time, and not just stock with fraps. going 3,000. I have to be in orbit. Oh, this is a big orbit. Oh my good god. I'm leaving the Kerbal system. Oh my god. That was unexpected. 
this early on at least. Oh my gosh, I'm leaving the Kerbal system. <laughs> um, maybe we can get an orbit around the moon. I mean, that, that'd be way over below. I mean, just that extra rocket stage made the world a difference. Wow. Okay, well now I'm gonna have to adjust my orientation to, the, to go slow now. This is going to take a long time to steer this ship. I think I'll use a little bit of rocket fuel. And we are now in our moon encounter. Um, I will be now slowing the ship down a bit, which will take some time since it's a big ship and it's kinda hard to steer. So future me is probably gonna cut some more of this out, assuming that I already did cut a bunch out because it might just be relatively boring watching me steer a ship and talking about how I'm steering a ship. So we're now in orbit and we are closing in. Hopefully closing in really nicely. Let's see how amazing this looks. <laughs> That's awesome. With just a little bit of fuel to spare. Let's time warp a bit. Get it around to the nice bright side. before I run out of frickin' electricity. I don't want to extend these down here yet, because, you know, I'll hit this. And I don't want any catastrophic explosions happening. So I'll have more coming soon from Kerbal Space Grab Pro Program. Not exactly sure what I want to do next. Uh, I'll think about it. You can tell me if you want what you'd like to see within reason. But I'll do something else next on the same playthrough. Maybe launch a craft to the moon and then try to get a good glimpse of this flying overhead. Which would be cool. That will conclude this episode of Kerbal Space Program. Tune in for more. Or don't if you don't like it, but it'd be cool if you tuned in for more. Well, until next time.